Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of White Rock Realty Reality. Relax, have a good time, and let's go shopping. My name's Tony, and I'm an interior decorator. Uh, I'm Brad. <laughs> I'm Tony's husband. I work for Telus. We have a four and a half year old son, and um, we've lived in this area for about 12 years. We really, really like this area and want to continue to look in this area. Coined the city by the sea, White Rock is 45 minutes away from Vancouver and only five minutes from the U.S. border. Named for a large white boulder on its beach near the promenade, people are drawn to the city's mild climate and proximity to the beach, which gives the community a laid-back seaside feel. White Rock's real estate market started with retirees, but drawn to prices much lower than those in Vancouver, younger families started moving west. The White Rock community is now home to over 19,000 residents of all sorts. Anybody that wants to head out this way and get out to an ultra sunny area, live close to the beach and not have to pay those Vancouver prices, there's nowhere else to go. It is one of the warmest places in BC and you do have a wonderful ocean that you can jump into every single day if you want to. We're a pretty active family. Um, Hayden swims about three days a week. He also does baseball and in the fall he's going to do hockey. Well one reason why families love to live out here is because of all the amenities that exist. There's really no reason to stay away because you can get it all here as a family in White Rock. I definitely need an office. I work from home so I definitely need a home office, adequate space. We've got my dad that lives with us. He's 79 and um, so he's a big part of our lives and helps us out with Hayden a ton. So we do need a place for him too and then um, you know somewhere too for the dog. You know, I'd, I'd, you know, maybe a little less yard, not, maybe yard work's not necessarily my forte, but maybe no. something a little bit, maybe more beach view as, a, as opposed to less yard, yard work. work. more parks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <by>. yeah. <laughs> Big garage would be nice. Oh, a double yeah. car garage would be nice. Yeah, we have a single car yeah. garage now. What I think ends up being more of storage area as opposed right. to a useful parking spot. A more of a great room concept, yeah, I think, would be great, better for entertaining. Yeah. Another beautiful thing about White Rock and the area is the homes are very diverse in the sense of what you can actually get. The numbers can get up pretty high, but there is no way you can purchase a home in Vancouver this close to the water with a view like this for a fraction of that cost. So certainly a good reason to come out here. We can find something ideally under, you know, a million, you know, would be maybe the ideal, <laughs> but the lower we'll, the better. We'll, we'll see, yeah, perhaps <laughs> lower the better. Welcome back to White Rock, where our buyers Tony and Brad McDonald are looking for a family home. Their wish list includes a home office, a nice space for grandpa, an easy care yard, a roomy two-car garage, and a great room, all for under $1 million. The first home on our White Rock search is 2,200 square feet and was built in the 1970s. Nestled on a treed lot, this house is listed way below their budget at $849,000. All right, well here we are. Okay, this is nice. Yeah, nice view. Nice and bright. Nice large windows. Well, I'll this tell you great. what, let's head through the rest of the house. Sure. And yeah, let me know please. what you think. Yeah, please. Let's well. you can follow great. me. And uh, why don't we just start off in the kitchen? Okay. Always a great place to start. This tell is me what nice. you think about this I place. I think this is great. I think this is equally as bright. It feels fairly consistent from the sort of the living room area there. I think that's it's nice with the stainless steel appliances. Lots of counter space. Lots of counter space. Okay, this is nice. So this was originally a sun deck. Okay. And what they did was they just happened to do a lot of entertaining and they wanted to maximize the space so they turned it into a dining room. Right. And okay. I think they did a fine job of it. I think they've done a great job actually. Yeah, I think it's very nice. Really nice. 
All right, so this is the master bedroom. Mm-hmm, that's correct. Okay, okay so a uh, little concern, feels a little small. No ensuite. This is true. It does not have an ensuite. All right. Uh, you haven't seen the main bath yet. It's actually very close. Okay. But granted, okay. it's not an ensuite. It's actually directly over here. Okay. The problem is we can't actually join it to this room because the tub is on this side. This is it. Yeah. So it's a little tight. No bath fan. Oh, yes. That's a good thing, too. Yeah, we'll have to put in an exhaust fan. This is the last room on the on the main floor. Okay, I think it's a good size child's bedroom. I think it's actually a decent size. A little concern that about the that's the only bathroom. That's the only sort of main bathroom on this one level. That's the only thing I'm feeling sort of so far. Well, there is a bathroom downstairs. It might be a little ways to go, but okay. I'll show you that just oh, so great. that sure. you know I don't want you to completely forget about it. Yes. But, but anyway. <laughs> okay. Very good. Let's see the downstairs. All right, let's have a look. So just hang a left right over there. Okay. Oh, it's very purple, very, very pretty. I think, uh, yeah, this could actually work out great for my dad. Okay. There is an entrance from the garage. Is there? Actually, okay. uh, sort of another man door right nice. by the garage that takes you right in here. Right, Yeah. right. So that's actually, that's good. Okay, Sneak great. in all those ladies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's right. Here's the other bathroom I mentioned, guys. Um, I have a quick peek. This is something that's great for my dad. This, I think this three piece actually works out really well. That is the rec room slash office, office. etc. Wow, very beige. It's a commitment to caramel. Yeah. It's a little rich, but... Absolutely. Okay. Rich, is that a train right here? It is. It is a train. <laughs> it is. You're absolutely right. So yes, you do hear it occasionally. However, all I can say is from my own experience <laughs> is it can become white noise. <laughs> I'm not a huge <laughs> fan of the train. I, I, I double check the schedule to see when the horn sounds. Uh, so I would definitely take that into consideration. Hey Rich, where's the garage? Keep going. No, you're right on the, you're on the right track, yeah. Oh. Single, single car? Yeah. Okay, yeah, single car garage. Uh, I was looking for a double car garage, so that's a little disappointing. I just sort of described the outdoor area. Okay. Um, Privacy. Lots of, lots of privacy. <laughs> and low maintenance. The very low maintenance. Not a lot of yard work, <laughs> which is nice. I really like the yard. I mean, you know, I like the, uh, <laughs> it looks awesome. I mean, it's nice and natural <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't mind not having a blade Maybe. of grass. Uh, I am concerned that there is only the one main bathroom. Uh, there is not an actual ensuite with this master bedroom and with I think the three of us using that and then also to being the only bathroom too if you are entertaining doesn't have a powder powder room or ensuite um, so I would say the lack of bathrooms upstairs if you're buying a used home you can't expect perfection that's a bottom line unless you build it and design it yourself every home's going to need a little adjustment one way or another and you know what, with their budget based on they are looking at other properties or actually listed for a couple hundred thousand dollars more, there's a lot you can do with this home to really personalize it, make it exactly what you want. You know what I'm really happy about is that that train actually came by when Brad and Tony were here. Obviously it's something that everybody's aware of and in fact it's also in the listing. However, once again, it, you need to spend some time at a home that you're purchasing and really give it a good look. This 1970s home has had various upgrades over the years. Local inspector Bjorn Rigg shed some light on some of the things they may have missed. Most of the windows in the home have been upgraded. Uh, these are about a 10 year old vinyl thermal window. Um, the only windows that have not been replaced are the ones in this dining room area. It's not gonna be a huge issue, but for a comfort uh, reason, it would be um, a, a nice update to the home or nice upgrade but at a fairly modest uh, cost as well for that upgrade. Uh, a very important and a very inexpensive upgrade would be the smoke detectors, uh, especially for safety reasons. Uh, these look like they're very old detectors. Uh, these detectors should be replaced about every 10 years. Uh, they do now have combination smoke and carbon monoxide detectors, so for a very reasonable price, you could make the home a lot safer by making that upgrade. The second house on our hunt is very different than the last. Built in 2012, this almost new home measures in at a massive 4,000 square feet. Listed at just over $1.1 million, it sits just a bit over budget. <laughs> well, was that a bit of a change in the weather, huh? <laughs> Things change quick around here, so you know what? It'll be sunny in no time. That's right. So. 
<clears throat> Alrighty, here we are. It's really nice. It's so Ooh. Spacious. Huge. Huge. <laughs> This one is brand new. Okay. And uh, so obviously not lived in yet. As you can see, it's vacant. For you guys, yeah, I think it's the style and the layout. So definitely. You know, how do you feel about that? Beautiful. I think the kitchen, I love how they use the, the quartz material on the countertops. I think that's great. I love the security system. I think that's a nice touch. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is a safe neighborhood. You never have any challenges around here. Right. But you know, at least you can see who's coming and going. I was so. just going to say, at least yeah. it allows you to know who's at the front door when I'm not going to go back to the stairs. Mm -hmm. Cave for the man. <laughs> Let's head that way, and what we'll do is we'll head downstairs and look at all the bedrooms. So yeah, so what do you think about this room? Once again, we do got a nice, uh, nice deck out front, so you can watch who's coming and wave to your, wave to your the master bedroom. I'm not 100% sure if it's a master because there is another large bedroom in the back, also with access to a patio with an ensuite. So I think it kind of gives you, like you know, the, the option, which is great. Well, we got lots to go, so follow me. Got another bedroom, of course, with its own ensuite. Got uh, sort of the main bath here. This is theoretically the master bedroom, uh, but once again, we had a really big room up front, and so there's a versatility. It just seems a little small. But once again, you can go out to the backyard here, which is it's also a separate entry. Yeah. So Actually, it does. This could be a great room for my dad, really. Mm -hmm. But he gets the better. Better bathroom? Oh, sure. Yeah, that's true too. <laughs> but you forget there is a suite downstairs. Yeah. So you can give them this and you guys can live in a suite. How's that yeah. sound? Very good. <laughs> As you know, this is the suite and just to remind you, it is a two bedroom, two bath. It's beautiful. I think it is a beautiful suite. To have crown molding in a suite too, and uh, yeah. casings too on the windows. Like it's finished really mm -hmm. well, really well. Yeah, they did a fine job, definitely. Okay, and I do think in this area, suites, you know, can command about 1,200, two bedroom suites yep. can command about $1,200 a month. Yeah. So that's... Yeah. We can make up the difference in the that's mortgage. mortgage. Absolutely, absolutely. Ah, yes, two car garage. We can at least get one car in here. <laughs> Fill the rest up with junk. <laughs> I like it. I really, yeah, I really like it. I like the fact that it is turnkey. It is brand new. I'm liking the quality of the finishing. I'm liking the space, the size. I think the price point may be a challenge for us. Uh, it's a step up from what we were set on, but uh, the benefit of the rental long term may outweigh that. So. We'll That's that. the way it's, I'm thinking right now too, that, <laughs> that could possibly do that. Everybody likes new. The problem is a lot of buyers simply get dazzled by new homes. And so Tony and Brad really embrace the house, but because of the weather we have here today, I don't think they really got an opportunity to realize how small that yard actually is. So they need to keep that in mind and I will certainly remind them of it before they make their final decision. This newer home has been built with energy efficiency in mind. Local inspector Bjorn Riggs gets right into the thick of it. One of the benefits of buying a new home uh, for energy efficiency is uh, the outside walls typically now are 2x6 construction, so you get a lot more insulation value in those walls. Uh, so your natural gas appliances will not have to be utilized nearly as much to keep that, in that heat inside the house. So the heating system in this home is a um, high efficient boiler. This particular um, model is a Wiesman. Um, it's a very nice efficient system. Um, uh, the other nice thing about this system here is uh, the boiler also provides hot water for the, uh, the water tank here. So therefore you don't have a separate heating element or a separate uh, gas burner for the tank. It's a, it's a nice system to have and it should be a lot more efficient than your older standard uh, conventional boiler system. Welcome back to White Rock, where realtor Rich Zalotic is rocking the house hunt with buyers Tony and Brad. The last house on our search was built in 1990 and measures in at 3,200 square feet. Listed at 1.2 million, the price tag is quite a bit over budget. 
Hey guys, how good. you doing? Hi, Come on Rich. in. Come on in. How are you? Good, good. Uh, you'll notice this is a completely different type of property than the last one. A uh, beautiful stately home, usually prices here around 1.5. Because this one could use a little bit of updating, some work has been done, it is beautiful. But since this is your expertise, I thought it'd be a great way to get into this market, which normally is quite tough. So why don't we just head that way? Okay, nice large kitchen, right? Recently updated? Yes, they did spend quite a bit of money in here and. I think they did a nice job. What do you guys think? Oh, it's nice. I do actually. I do like the kitchen. Why don't we head on through the kitchen out the other side and we'll get to the dining room. Okay. Good size dining room. All right. I, like mm. I think that I would prefer definitely a different paint color. The floors are nice though. Floors are nice. I think this is a nice Christmas room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how do you mean that? Has a good times. chimney for Christmas. <laughs> That's actually a good point. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good sized family room, I like this. What's nice is, you know, if you are cooking or entertaining, you know, you've got these glass doors here to sort of shut out any cooking smell, or maybe it's good, maybe it's bad, I don't know. No, it does allow you to partition the room, separate it, so that is really good. I like how this staircase splits off, actually. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah. It does lend to the being a grand entrance, which I think is a real nice feature of this home. All right, this is principal main bedroom. Commitment to brass. They seem to have that <laughs> everywhere. Not enjoying the wallpaper particularly. Not certain about the um, tile around the perimeter of the room. Good sized bathroom. Lots of room. For me personally, this would completely need to be redone. This would need to be gutted right from the start. But I think the, you've got so many opportunities to do something here to change the whole configuration. Mm -hmm. Well, you've seen enough. I have, Let's yes. Let's keep going. Well, we've got a couple more bedrooms here. We've got the main bath. It's a square <laughs> toilet. That's tough to sit on. All right, well, let's head down here. We've got, uh, we've got the outside, we've got the pool to look at. I know you're anxious to jump in, so. <laughs> Actually, Brad, uh, you'll probably dig this a little more. Oh, this is not nice. only a two-bay garage, it's a three. three. Wow! <laughs> Thought you oh, might enjoy that bonus. nice little surprise. And if you had to make some noise, make it here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's head outside. It's still raining a little bit, but uh, we'll grab some umbrellas and check out the backyard. Look at that water feature. Beautiful water feature. Isn't that not beautiful? Yes. Yeah. And just That's with the natural good. grasses and everything that they've done. You yeah. have a pool, you've got a hot tub, you've yeah. got a fire pit. Yeah, and you know, I don't know if I pointed out the metal roof that'll last a lifetime. You know, low maintenance exterior with the stucco and the brick, also kind of timeless. So there's some real advantages to being here. And then once again, with your expertise, it just seems like it could be a great place to add your touch. Right, okay. So, That's good, yeah, Richie. if you've Thanks. seen enough, then uh, unless you guys want to go for a quick swim. <laughs> We're no, getting wet you. anyway. No, no. Yeah. All right. I have no suit. Okay, no. <laughs> you didn't bring a suit? I have oh, no something? suit. What's no. the matter you? <laughs> I really like the size of the home. I like the area. I'm concerned with the interior. I think with the amount of money needed for renovating. I mean, there's quite a commitment to brass throughout, so that I would want to update. The garage is a big <laughs> yes, plus for me, yes. so yeah. We could park two cars yeah. and have one for storage. <laughs> Get a third. <laughs> That's right. This is 14,000 square feet. Now, at the end of the day, houses turn to dust, land lasts forever. So I think it's something that all buyers should keep in mind. So if you can get something like this, I think there's a real positive side to it. It's important to consider energy efficiency when buying a home, including any potential upgrades. Local inspector Bjorn Rigg tells us more. It's very important to get an inspection before you purchase any home, regardless whether it's uh, an older home or a newer home. When we are going through the home, we pay attention to whether or not it's the old original single pane windows, whether the windows have been upgraded. Furnaces and hot water tanks are another area where you could definitely save some money. Uh, newer furnaces are much more efficient. Um, also, if you go with a heat pump system, a little bit more expensive for initial installation, but the overall payback is, is pretty good if you're gonna be in the home for any length of time. There are various upgrades that can save you energy and money in the long run. 
Find out how much you can potentially save by using an online energy calculator like this one on the Fortis BC website. Tony and Brad have seen three very different homes in the White Rock area, but did they find the one? Well, you guys, uh, now we've looked at three homes and all of them had some sort of criteria that you're asking for. Now, granted, they all didn't have everything that you wanted, but they all had sort of, you know, uh, different degrees of it. I enjoyed the first one. I enjoyed the close proximity to the beach. A little concern about the upgrades, um, how we would sort of adapt the home in order to sort of meet our family needs. How about the second one? That was the new one with the suite. That one was seem like pretty it. seamless, turnkey, mm -hmm. ready. And everything's contained on the, the middle floor there for all the bedrooms and everything like that. And then the, the suite was awesome. So. And another consideration is the hidden costs of a new home. So and what front, would we be looking at with the additional costs? The, the GST and then a property transfer tax. Property transfer tax is on all homes, but the GST is a substantial amount. And that's why I thought the third home, although that was the most expensive, out of all three that we looked at, once again, you wouldn't have that GST, so it would come into a similar price, yet you get all that land and a beautiful piece of land in a great neighborhood, so. That one to me needs, um, a substantial amount of work. I think just the style of the taste uh, is very different. Uh, I loved the exterior. I thought the pool and the minimal amount of yard work was you know, great. I could see us spending a lot of time outside there. Um, and it had three. Yes, and the third, <laughs> the extra three car garage. Three car garage. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, Can't be that. that was more than what we asked for. So that was you could turn the garage into a nightclub. <laughs> yeah. it, so. Well, if it's up to me, I'd say number two. Number two. I think I'm with Brad, I agree. I think I would choose number two. Sounds good. Thanks, Rich. It's been great working with you. <laughs> Thanks, Richie. <laughs> <laughs>